Martin Luther King had a difficult childhood because he couldn't play with his friends anymore. Because they were white and he was black. That made him feel very frustrated. But later in life, Martin Luther King graduated from Morehouse College in the year 1948. I would say he was an exceptional student. As he went on in life, he met a woman named Coretta Scott, and they got married in the year June 18, 1953. The ceremony was done by Martin Luther King's father. After that, their life took off. He started a family with four children, two girls and two boys that he loved very much, and a civil rights movement, too. Some people thought of him like he was a historical figure. He said very famous speeches that even we know today. One of them was about his own four children and the color of their skin. Others were about not letting anything stand in your way. And another one is about how only love could drive out hate. His speeches changed his lives and changed the world. He had many people who looked up to him and stood by him through it all. Sadly, other ha people hated him. So this brings forth a man that hated him so much that he killed him. His name is James Earl Ray. James didn't like what Martin Luther King was standing for or the color of his skin. So, James shot Martin in his hotel room in the year 1968. James Earl Ray was in prison for the rest of his life. This was a tragic scene. His family was heartbroken. Though he died, he made a big change in the world when he was alive. If it wasn't for Martin Luther King, I wouldn't be in the school I'm in, or I wouldn't have the friends that I have today. So I have one thing to say. Thank you, Martin Luther King. Thank you for making your mark.